here is a type of wall framing that you might try one day, especially if you are Dutch, where you can find plenty of stepped gable roofs. Now, normally they're going to be built out of bricks. However, we built ours out of wood framing. And you can divide it up into a variety of different sections. I divided it up into five sections here. And they can also be higher than I have it here or just a little bit lower because you're not going to want to see the roof. And in some cases, you're not going to want to see the side fascia board either. And to fix this, all you need to do would be to extend the wall framing out a little bit or bring the roof framing in a little bit to hide the fascia board. So let's go ahead and remove the roof trusses so we can get a better look at the wall framing. And this is actually a design that I like, even though it seems like something you would find in the Old West in one of the old Western movies for the general store. And one way will be to use 4x4s. I went ahead and used 4x4s at the brakes here to provide a little stronger connection here. And you might consider using 2x6 for a wall like this. In our example, we're using 2x4. And you might be able to get away with nailing a block here instead of running a full length stud all the way down to the ground. And of course you could do it over here also. And the difference in height between the walls is 24 inches. However, yours could be a little taller or shorter depending upon your roof pitch. I think we have about a 4 and 12 roof pitch here. And if it was going to be a 6 and 12 roof pitch, then there could be a 3 foot height difference in the walls. Next up, let's go ahead and install our roof trusses. I wanted to give you an idea. I'm going to have a nailer board here. So we're not going to have a roof truss going up against the wall here. However, this ceiling backing board might need to float with the ceiling because it could cause the roof truss and the ceiling to lower a little bit. So we're going to nail this board to the wall framing. And then once we nail our sheathing to this board here, that's going to give us a nice strong connection here between the roof and the wall framing. Next up, let's head down to the corner here. Now I just took one of the trusses apart here. You don't have to frame it like this. That corner can be framed differently. And I don't know for sure if you're going to have to fire block this section of the wall framing. You might need to depending upon the location of the wall. For example, if it's going to be located in the front of the building, and there's a parking lot in the front of the building or a large yard, you might not need to fire block it. However, if this is situated next to another building, maybe five feet apart from it, then you might need to fire block it to make sure that that other building doesn't catch on fire when this building's burning down. Which brings me to another point I like to mention in my videos. Check with your local building department and engineers to verify the information in videos like these. Next up, let's take a look at the fascia board. And this isn't going to be real common. You're usually not going to have a section of the roof coming off of the side of a stepped gable. The stepped gable is usually going to extend a little further past. But I went ahead and did this anyway just to provide you with another example of something you might be able to do, something that might work for your project. Next up, let's go ahead and install our roof sheathing. Again, you can see once we nail the sheathing to this backing board here, and that backing board is nailed to the wall framing studs, we're going to get a pretty good connection. Next up, let's go ahead and install a 1x4 for our Z-bar backing. This will help with the roof flashing. And I'm pretty sure I have other videos on Z-bar installation. And another reason why you might consider extending the height of the wall here would be to prevent the people standing in front of the building from viewing an obnoxious air conditioning, condensation unit, or other things that might be on top of the roof. And I really don't know the reason why this was popular in Holland. And maybe it had something to do with the bricks, using bricks instead of lumber. And an example of the fire blocking here Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. You can see it's going to go all the way across here. And then let's go ahead and take a view of it from the inside. This will prevent a fire from the inside here from pulling fresh air from the attic into the room below and also prevent the fire from entering into the attic through the wall framing. Another thing you will need to check, like I said, with your local building department. Now you can always install a strap here or another type of framing connector to connect the top plates to the post here or to connect the top plates 
to the wall framing studs if you're not going to be using a 4x4. And if you're looking for more information about the 625 square foot house, make sure that you check out our other videos in the playlist that I've created. And there should be a link to that in the video description area. And thanks for watching. To learn more about home building and repairs, visit us at our website. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. See you next time.